Okay, so let's move on to the pre uh, pre market movers and some chart points for you. Okay, well, I've just picked out one stock today um, as far as pre market movers. It's the only one that really caught my eye. Um, Umbrella Inc. is the uh, is the name of the stock. A M B A. Uh, the ticker up 2.95%. Uh, these guys are a manufacturer of specialist chipsets that, that, that have various clearly defined applications. One area though that they think that they can get some further traction is the idea of, of their equipment getting into drones and, and, and the drone, the whole drone thing taking, you know, or taking off, sorry, no pun intended, um, and becoming mm -hmm. even more popular than it is. So the market seems to be getting behind that, uh, that idea. They're up 2.95% pre-market. It's fair to say though that they have doubled uh, over the last year already so but nonetheless there's a bit of momentum there and in terms of levels to watch today uh, well, as far as European equities are concerned all, all to the downside uh, so we're a bit lower 67.67 for FTSE I put in here and 68.57 on the upside for the DAX a bit of round number uh, psychology here 11,100 I think is the level to watch there on the downside 11,225 I've gone for on the upside uh, S&P, we'll look at 2088 on the downside and 2100 um, to the upside for the Dow, 17,826 17, to the downside and 17,968 uh, to the upside. And then currencies, uh, stronger dollar basically is the, the flavour again. So euros uh, weakened marginally to 110.70 now on the downside and 111.75 on the upside. Quite a wide range there, but it needs to, to, to you know, find its feet again to tell us what's happening next. Um, Aussie dollar, US dollar, weaker again, the Aussie, 75.98 now, the downside level to watch in, the, in that, and 76.53, uh, the upside level I'm keeping my eye on. Uh, dollar yen, yes, the yen continues to weaken, although it, it hasn't sort of collapsed, but 124.96 now on the downside, and 125.40, which I think is key that we're, we're you know, we're, we're pushing on above 125, or have done. Um, cable, uh, sterling weakness again, 152.17 now, the downside, plays 152.80 on the upside. Understood. These markets are clearly falling back a smidge, aren't they? They are, yeah. Okay.